This is Pam from NortheastWheelsEvents.com at the 2021 Chrysler Nationals over here in Carlisle, PA. We're doing some classic car shopping and what perfect way to start then with this Challenger drop top. This is an RT sporting the 446 pack and underneath the shaker hood automatic so many of these were it's amazing nice looking car and as they say resale red let's see if it's been worked or not yeah it's been worked did a nice job Got a little bit of waving, not much. Another modification which I really like is the aluminum cross flow radiator just to help these girls stay cool. Very unusual in the convertible. I like his choice of rims. Asking 68,000. Now, this is a problem right here. There's your major problem. I don't like the way how that was repaired on the driver's side door. These are particularly troublesome because they do drop. He's asking top dollar for a car, which is nice. Very nice. Let's see what else we can see. Another Challenger RT over here. Of course, the hard top. Oh, it looks like the shield went coming up here. Automatic. Interior looks reasonable. Needs a lot of work inside, though. Oh, this is cool. You can see how they uh, made the uh, tops. Very interesting. This girl has been through some battles, but what you see is what you get. It's wearing California plates, so that's interesting. Still has the typical rod. And it's rusting out. Again, in the usual spots. This has the 383 automatic. Marked down from 28 to 25, a best offer. Yeah. This is the again 70 Challenger. Interesting. Let's see what else we could find. Need a little 68 GTX 440. This is a numbers matching car. Black gut. I like the choice of the red lines. That always brings it back. I never understood why they stick with the column shift automatics. At least get the console when ordering new. But hey, what can you do? This is probably a lighter car like that. Nice looking car. It has been worked. It's all repainted, but you can see it still has a lot of the original. Right, that's a problem with the driver's side. Look at this poor job over there. The paint problems. Let's see what they're asking. Again, 68 GTX. Now these are not getting easier to find. It's asking 37.9. Yeah, you think of it, you pick up a rat. You couldn't build it for that kind of money. It's a little bit more modern muscle. A little 440 Cuda.
That's for the six pack. I don't know if he's got a price on this puppy or not. Automatic. Too bad it doesn't have a price. That'd be interesting. I always hate when they do that because it's not really for sale. This Imperial. Mm, this. These Imperials were so undersold and understated. They were always so beautiful. But of course, they cannot, they could not compete against the juggernaut that was Cadillac. These cars were truly, truly worthy of the Imperial name. This is a fairly nice example. I really like it. Let's see. Sold, sold, sold. <laughs> and try to get you a uh, price on it. Blue interior, very nice. Very nice. I can see why this car sold. With the uh, acreage of flat, straight, lines you see every single blem on this car it's solid on through ah. 4500 oh my gosh no wonder it sold wow i can double check that i'm reading that correctly let's see bear with me a minute I see through the paper? No, I can't. Shoot. Let's keep going, shall we? Here's a cool sleeper, little Plymouth. Absolutely beautiful. Look at this stripper. Two door poster. Dog dish. That kind of tells you something's up. Belvedere 1. This has a, a 291 Posi with a 440 automatic. Print a quick shift. What a sleeper. What a sleeper. That is cool. That is cool. Body has been worked, looks fairly solid, reasonable paint job, I like it. Asking $17.5 or best offer. Again, the ultimate sleeper. Of course, I gotta check out like my Chrysler dashboard. these two Dodge Dart GT convertible. Interesting addition on the stripes. I'm not too crazy about that. Door fit and all that's not too great. Interesting way of cutting in that manual. For sale. Yeah, I bet. Unfinished project over here. Yep. Love this 66 Barracuda. Asking 16.4 automatic. I don't know what's under the hood. Oh, 318. Okay, 318. Let's see how good she is. Yeah. Of course, buy has been totally worked. Paint really has some problems over there. A lot of dirt in the paint is not processed right. I'm not crazy about the fit, but again, it's not going for blood, so it's not too bad. Not too bad. Again, this is a 66 Barracuda asking 16.4.